We'll begin with our breath work. Starting off in our Tadasana pose this morning. Welcome to your Saturday. Let's go inside and just begin to tap into what is. Breathing, feeling and being aware of our body. Starting with our three part breath. Our chest, belly, ribs rise on our inhale. Descend on our exhale. We can begin to close our eyes and count our breath. Inhaling, count to four. Exhaling, a count of six. them away coming to the breath. Let's set our intention for our practice. Let's inhale and reach up to sun. Maybe taking our hands into a baby back bend. Lift up to your neutral spine and exhale her hands heart center. Drop your shoulders down your spine. Standing tall, lifting your crown. Let's drop our hands back to Tadasana and go over our posture before we begin. We wanna to try to stick with a spinal alignment, um, bone stacking our major joints. So as we stand tall, we're lifting our thighs upward and shifting that pelvis back to engage the core abdominals. Rolling our shoulders back and down our spine, engaging our rib cage to our spine. Palms are facing forward. We're not locking the knees, but we do continue to lift those thighs all the way up into our belly region. This is called Tadasana or Mountain Pose. We can find our connection below us as we breathe, lifting our crown upward. little wider than hip width distance. Continue to bone stack. We want to bring our chin back a little bit to lengthen the back of our neck. Keeping our ears over our shoulders throughout our practice today and being mindful not to jet the neck in any odd directions. We move our head in yoga like an owl, but we never tilt it in our triangle poses and so forth today. So being mindful of our spinal alignment. And we take our ears over our shoulders, over ribs, draw in the upper abdominals, roll the pelvis up, ribs over hips, over knees in our normal Tadasana mountain pose, knees over ankles. So coming back to a stance a little wider than hip width distance, let's lift up that right arm Bilateral flexion, we're going to reach down that opposite arm. Just breathe here and feeling. Your breath calm us. Our core engages. Let's reach overhead, pressing into this opposite leg and roll everything open up top toward the side. Big breaths here as you open this whole side body. That lung is able to get a little bigger capacity for deeper inhalations and exhalations. 
Inhale up and reach away, engaging that core. Opposite side comes up. Remember, we want to stimulate that vagus nerve when we practice our yoga breathing. So deep inhalations, deep exhalations. Reach the arms apart and then press overhead, rolling that side body up and open as you take big inhales here. Being mindful of where your body is today, not moving past it too much, but coming out of your comfort zone so that you can grow in your practice and get stronger. Roll open, reach out and away, come on up to standing. But we also want to make sure we're not coming past our limit of uh, safe practice today. Hands to heart center. Let's inhale up and begin to swan dive forward fold. Hang over three breaths here. We want big full belly breaths onto the thighs. Roll out the neck. Shake the head out, your next inhale and exhale very softly. Feeling your spine stretch. Let's inhale up to your monkey pose. Flat back, knees do not lock. Turn your head right and left. Make sure your head is stacked on, ears over shoulders, and forward fold. Soften the knees. Look up first if you get dizzy and rise to sun. Baby back bend. Hips go forward. Roll those shoulders back and open. Take in the sun and reach away. Exhaling forward fold swan dive. Let's step back into your down dog. Bicycling the heels. <clears throat> Pressing our shoulders back toward our thighs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now draw your belly up toward your spine and send your tailbone as tall as you can get it. Bicycling your heels one at a time. Breathe it out. Your ears are even with your elbows. Good. Let's bring our knees to our mat and come into a few cat cows. You can make this for wrists if it bothers you to come straight into your wrist here. So taking a nice look up, chin, chest, tailbone, come upward. Exhale, we're tucking it under. child's pose position. We're just going to sit our bum back to our heels. As far as it'll go, this starts to kill your knees. You guys can take some rolled up towels or uh, blocks underneath you here, small pillows, and just sink into your mat. This is great for lowering high blood pressure, helping the body relax. Good. Let's reach our fingertips forward, shoulder width distance apart. Give your body a nice big smile this morning. Let's go ahead and walk the fingertips forward, but rolling the shoulders back into their natural position. Lower the head. Take a big breath in. Maybe widen your knees. 
and roll your hips side to side. We're gonna get moving here in a second. Just breathe another minute longer. Let's go ahead and round ourselves up, bringing our shoulders over our wrists. Get our knees back in position underneath the hips, and let's come forward into a modified plank position. Take your belly from a rolled, sagging position and roll it back to where your belly is engaged to the spine. Now straighten yourselves out. Take a big inhale, and let's exhale. Reach our elbows, squeezing to our ribs as we lower bending our elbows into a chaturanga push-up. Inhale, drop the belly and come up into your cobra. Exhale, let's press back into your child's pose. And let's keep our hands where they were naturally. And then we're gonna press ourselves back into our down dog. Let's bicycle the heels again. Inhale, lift up that left leg. Exhale, lunge it through. Drop your hips into a runner's lunge. Look up, inhale. Exhale, right leg comes forward, full. Inhale, up into monkey. Exhale, forward, full. For chair pose. I think we got it now, guys. Inhale, lift up to sun. Reach belly forward baby back bend. Inhale up, core first, neutral spine. Exhale, swan dive forward, fall. Stepping back to your down dog. Inhaling through your sun salutation, plank or dropping the knees for modified plank. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Elbows squeeze to the ribs and push it back. Tailbone tall. Bicycle the heel. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shake out your head. Feeling relaxed here. Let's lift up right leg. Three-legged down dog. Lunge it through. Send those hips low and look up into your runner's lunge. We're pressing this back heel back. Another breath in. And breathe out. Stepping forward fold. Inhaling that monkey. Exhale, forward fold. And reach up to sun. And swan dive, forward fold. Step it back into your down dog. Through your sun salutation. Inhale, plank or modified plank. Lowering chaturanga, squeeze your ribs. Cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bicycle your heels. Inhale, left leg up, open the hip, bending at the knee. I can't see in the sun. There we are. All right, y'all. Good. Let's square the hips back off and lunge forward. Good, rising into your warrior one. So turn that right foot into a little 45 degree angle. Turn your hip forward and reach up. Good, let's come into a hands at hip. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, warrior two, reach apart. Belly draws in. And we're reaching knees apart, reaching fingers apart. Relax your shoulders down. Inhale, reach forward and reverse it back. Right hand comes down for support. Roll open that upper body. Breathe in, breathe out. Spread your toes. Feel connected in your practice. 
grounded windmill into tree kanatsana, triangle pose. Look up over that right middle finger. Send your hips forward and your belly back over this left thigh. Good, soften that knee, come into your side angle. Right arm draws back and let's come down into your pyramid pose. Sway your hips gently. Nice, let's step back into your down dog and let's do another sun salutation. Yogi choice to just sit or come into a resting sitting position. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, invert the toes and press back down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open that right hip, bending the knee and pressing it toward the bum. Breathe into the thigh, deep down this leg. Roll your ankle out maybe, or flip your dog. Come back to your neutral and lunge it through. Inhale, warrior one, come on up, arms overhead, or heart center. Stepping this left foot into an angle where our hips can come forward, parallel to our mat. Good, bring your shoulders back and arms at your sides. Palms facing down at your hips and let's come into an airplane here, or jet. Roll the shoulders back and down, reach them away. Crown reaches from this heel in the left foot. Square it off. Good, come back to your warrior one. Inhale, exhale, open into your warrior two. Spreading the knees and arms apart. Roll the pelvis forward, belly button back. Core is strong. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse it back. Roll open. Hips are in warrior two pose. And we're breathing into the rib cage here. Nice long breath. Continue to work that ujjayi breathing and windmill yourself into your triangle pose. Can be here or modifying, slightly bending this right or lower leg and pressing into it, resting that forearm slightly on our leg. Otherwise, we really wanna work those hips forward, belly back and long legs opening Big muscle groups here through the breath. Breathe in, spread your arms, bellies back to spine. Breathe out. Turn your head over that left middle finger if you have it. If you get dizzy through your practice, guys, just look down nice and easy. Take a breather anytime you need to. Lower that left arm and come into your bent right leg, side angle. You can either open that left arm back up to the sun or draw it to a resting position on your hip here. You wanna advance. You're opening both arms up, pressing your straightened right arm against your right leg. Nice job. Let's lower that left arm and come into a pyramid pose, adjusting your footing where your hips can squarely face mat below you and the goal is to elongate the backs of the legs here you ever find when you're slouching in your posture sitting or standing a lot of times we just need to stretch <coughs> it's a really great pose at your desk just coming forearms to it and press back alternate legs Good job, everybody.
everyone. Let's sway the hips slightly left to right. Good. We can slightly bend this leg. If your legs are tight here, hips are tight, use a block under your hands to lift you up or just take your hand to your leg in the front. Stack them and push. Relax the shoulders. Good. Let's lower the hands to the mat and we're going to step back into our down dog. So palms flat face and step it back. Use your core to do that. Press shoulders back into your down dog and breathe. Good job. Let's come to our knees and sit back into your child's pose. We're going to take a wipe or a drink here or Yogi's Choice to do another sun salutation. Alright, good job. Let's everybody meet in your down dog position. So to find your natural down dog for your practice or your body's length, come into your child's pose position. Walk your fingers forward like I showed you earlier. Roll your shoulders back and down and then press up, tailbone tall and back. Inhale up, exhale back. Nice job, everyone. Belly is strong into the spine. Let's lift up that left leg again. Inhale, reach. We're gonna open up that hip again. Try to keep those shoulders square. And we can flip the dog if you'd like to today. I moved my glass right in the way, of course. But we lift up that left arm and push those hips up tall. Otherwise, we're on our knees or we're in our down dog position modifying. Open that belly. Reach it back. Good. Let's open as we inhale and flip back down to our down dog. Let's lunge that left leg into the hands and step right leg to meet it forward fold. Inhaling up for your monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse to sun. Look up first if you get dizzy. Baby back bend. Inhale up. Neutral spine, swan dive, forward fold. Stepping back to your down dog. Move through your sun salutation or take a breather and rest. Meeting in your down dog, let's inhale up right leg and flip the dog if it feels good. Otherwise, just square your shoulders up and maybe lift that right leg up and open up that knee and hip by sending that foot to your right butt cheek. Otherwise, we're flipping the dog. down dog position. Inhale into your plank. Exhale into your chaturanga push up. Cobra up dog. Exhale down dog. Nice. Let's inhale left leg up. Exhale lunge it through. Inhaling up to your warrior one. Squaring these hips off. Prayer hands, heart center. Breathe, lifting crown up from that right heel. overhead and twist to your left. Try to keep your rib cage over your hips while you're reaching that left arm way back behind you. 
Warrior one legs. Good. Back to neutral. Warrior one. Exhale. We're going to come prayer hand heart center. Inhale. Slightly bending forward. And exhale. Take that right elbow to your left knee. So step this right leg back if you want to. And modifying, we can open up that right heel back. Be very mindful of your balance. Use a block in that right hand if you need to today. Otherwise, start prayer hand heart center. Inhale, come into position. Exhale, twist left elbow up. And we can open if we want a little more here. Really pushing into that left leg to help that left hip get stronger and open up its flexibility. Nice job. Prayer hands heart center. Come back to warrior one. And let's open warrior two. Arms reach open, knees reach open. It's all about core strength and working large muscle groups. Doesn't matter how fast your breath is in a vinyasa class or how slow. Flowing archer, we're gonna reach that right arm forward. Inhale, draw it back using dynamic tension. Open the arms, keep your Focus or your drishti out that left middle finger. And we're going to do three to five or none at all, prayer hands heart center or completely resting on your mat. Good. One more for good measure. Nice job. Windmill the arms and send your hips into your pyramid pose. Advance. We're coming into airplane arms. Belly draws back. Arms to the sides if you like a little more. Reaching apart here. Arms overhead. Prayer hand to heart center and forward fold, lifting that right leg into your warrior three today. I think I need to step back just a spot here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm in pyramid. I'm softening that left knee. I'm reaching my fingertips by modifying with blocks or just my hands, but three inches in front of that left foot. Just enough to where we can prop up that right leg and then roll that right hip down, even with the left. Do what you can today. Maybe roll that right foot out. Maybe we reach both hands up. And I'm on a slant. splits. Show us what you got. Reach up that right foot. Draw that uh, forehead to left knee. And let's bring that right foot down to meet the left and sway forward pull. Nice job. We're stepping back into our down dog. Good. Inhaling your right leg up. Exhale, lunge it through. And rise where you're one. Drawing our hips square to the front. Hands to heart center. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, coming into our airplane, warrior one. Rolling shoulder blades back to kiss behind you. Palms face down and we reach, crown from heel. Arms to our sides. 
prayer, hands heart center, and twist right. We can step that left foot back a little bit to help us. Use a block in that left uh, hand. Otherwise, hand heart center and just twist. Open the arms if you want a little more. Good. Coming back to your warrior one and opening warrior two. Good. Moving into your flowing archer on the right or whatever side you are. My right arm is reaching away from my left. Inhale. Warrior two legs and flowing archer. I'm reaching that left arm to the right hand. Draw it back. Belly's completely engaged and I'm staring out that right middle finger. This is our warrior pose. We're drawing our arrow. Getting ready for war. Content on the inside, breathing. Dynamic tension. Let's do one more for good measure. Nice and strong. Belly to core to spine. Nice job, guys. Let's come on down into our pyramid pose. into our warrior three on the right. We can use blocks underneath us and uh, underneath our hands, stepping them three inches in front of the right foot and come on up with that left leg hip high, rolling that left hip down to meet the right. You can use your hand to kind of see. Draw your belly in nice and strong here. And if you want a little more, maybe we come to our airplane arms, sorry, jet arms, airplane arms, or overhead. Whatever feels good, challenge yourself slightly past where is comfortable so that you're growing in your practice each and every time you come to a mat. right knee. Good. Let's step all the way down. Forward fold. Hand to elbow, hand to elbow. So send those heel toe, heel toe all the way out. <coughs> Wider than hip width. And come into your forward fold. Roll your head out however feels comfortable. We want the spine nice and long in an Uttanasana or forward fold. Nice job. We're gonna draw the hands down. We're gonna heel to the feet all the way out to a straddle split position. We always want to stretch and do the counter pose of the previous pose or poses. So this is really great. To open your feet, heel toeing as wide as you can. You may need to turn, but you want your feet on your sticky mat. Okay, come to your elbows if you can or blocks, but forward fold. We want to send some energy to the backs of the legs, roll your belly back, and get that spine nice and long.
push your body weight back just a little bit. Good. Come on down to your knees very gently, one at a time. Very good. All right, so let's come to our knees, bringing them together and sit up on top of our heels. We're gonna do a little bit of neck and shoulder work this morning. Um, today is my birthday, so I am, for myself, I'm doing a heart class. Um, so I wanted to offer that to you guys as well, celebrating my birthday today. So let's take our hands to our heart center and just begin to feel that connection with the breath. So quiet the mind, maybe focus on the waterfall in the background or mother nature around you if you're outside. Good, let's draw our arms down to our lap and just roll our shoulders up to our ears, gathering any tension and then roll your shoulders back behind you and down. Inhale them forward, maybe arch your back into a cat back a little bit and roll up. Get that spine moving with your shoulders, rolling out tension in the shoulder blades and neck. This is really great for helping your lymph drainage up top. Good, let's roll in the opposite. So taking our shoulders back up, gather tension, exhale forward and out, shoulders down. Sit up tall, do it again, a couple more times. Nice, now we're gonna work a little bit on our limp this morning. So if this bothers you to sit like this, you can come over to one side, put a pillow under your what have you. We're gonna get off here in just a second. Um, so bear with me. But cross your hands over, and we're going to begin here in the subclavian area of the neck, just behind the clavicle bone. And just begin softly sweeping. Nice. And then uncross your hands and do the jaw back to the ears, and then down from the ears to the subclavian. Good, now we go behind. Working on these on your own every morning and night, maybe a couple times a day, um, is really great, but spend more time than what I'm showing here today. Go up the uh, occipital, and just very gently, your lymph lies just under your skin, so don't push past. Um, into the muscle. Good, we're just, it's like a slow milking, like very subtle skin touch to drag a little bit. Feels really awesome. Your body responds so quickly. You may start to get um, drainage in the back of your throat. Um, so now we can take a Nanu Nanu arm uh, hand and just put them in the ear like this and drain the ears. The sinuses has helped drain um, bags under the eyes. Just relax the jaw as you do it. Good, and then sweep the face. Under the eyes, nose back, and then out, down the cheeks, and sweep it up to the ears from the jaw area and back down. Subclavian, back, and underneath the clavicle to the heart. Really good for detoxing the brain, the limb, the sinus. Lots of stuff likes to make a home up there, so get them out of there. Let's roll our arms open and out, reaching up and overhead out of the hips. We're gonna exhale and back behind us and invert the hands, toes, uh, fingers toward toes, sorry, and inhale, lean back, 
open the heart center and hips rise maybe just a little bit here. You can use blocks here, guys, underneath you to lift the earth toward your pose. So we're drawing the head back, lifting the hips, lifting the belly. Breathe deep, in and out. Draw the hips back down very gently. Walk your hands up. This can be hard on the knees, so use your blocks and bolsters if you need to. Draw your feet out in front of you. Bum to the center of your mat. The weather's so beautiful here today. You guys, I can't tell if you can see me so good because my screen's all dark, but we are going to roll to one side of the tailbone, bringing our feet out in front. Good, come behind the tailbone and come into your boat pose. Draw the feet down and we're gonna come into our bridge. Palms facing down, fingertips toward bum. Walk your feet under your knees. Roll your shoulders back, lift the heart again. Take a big inhale and as you exhale, send your hips even with your heart. Draw your head back. Ears stay even with the shoulders once you do. This is the counter pose to all our down dogs. Undoing our shoulders. Nice job. Slowly draw your bum down and open your feet up into your straddle. If your knees begin to buckle here, we can take our hands behind us, fingertips pointing away this time. Draw your belly in. You may be here, that's okay. You can put blocks under your hands again to help lift the earth up again. Uh, but we want to try to send those um, heels away from the six bones and your knees down. Belly drawn back, shoulders draw back again, heart opener. Think spinal alignment, healthy bone stacking. Otherwise, our hands are in front if our back does not begin to arch once we do that. Mm -hmm. Try to extend your spine in your forward fold, straddle splits. Breathe your crown away from your tailbone. Give your cheeks a soft smile for making it to your mat this morning. We'll begin our stretching series, so stay with the breath. We're gonna walk our hands up, shoulders over hips, bring our feet in front of us for our incline plank. Thumb comes to the center of your mat. Hands come underneath your shoulders as we slightly lean back. Draw your fingertips towards your bum and directly underneath your shoulders. As you roll open the shoulders, we're gonna lift the chest, the heart, upward, but keep our ears even with our shoulders. Draw your feet together. This may be a little different than some of you are used to, but try it out. It's a little harder. I think you'll like it. So feet together. The goal is when we come into our incline plank, everything goes back, our hips go up, but we want to draw the bottoms of our feet long down to the mat. 
So pressing these ankles together is gonna help zip up the core and really get the uh, um, AD ductors, sorry, the AD ductors really strong. So the inner thigh. All right, so let's zip it up together. One, two, three, inhale, roll the shoulders back. Heart lifts, inhale, exhale. Our hips rise and our feet lower to the mat. Draw your head back, come out of the shoulders. Nice and strong, you can do this. And draw the bum to the mat and sit upward. How'd you do? Let's draw ourselves into our um, bound angle. So draw the knees open as much as they'll go. Again, you can stuff blocks or bolsters underneath you if you have pillows. But just roll the shoulders down so that we're relaxed here. We want to begin lifting the crown upward, ears over shoulders, belly engaged so our back doesn't begin to curve or arch. And draw yourselves forward. This is a really good stretch in the groin area. Always being mindful if you need a drink or a wipe, take it. to draw your heels in a little closer to your bum if you're able. Don't forget to smile. Nice job, everyone. We're going to lift our upper body upward, walk our feet out. Get yourselves ready for your Shavasana. So if you use props for Shavasana, now's the time to get them next to your mat, how you'll use them. Good. Let's take our hands underneath our thighs. Make sure your bum's to the center of your mat so that your head is not in the dirt or just kidding, wherever. Roll to the side of your tailbone and come on back to a lying position. I think I'll turn this way for this. Maybe y'all can see me. Roll on back using the core and bring your knees into your chest. Shoulders roll to the mat. Move your um, ponytail if you guys have anything in the back of your head so that you can be comfortable on your back here. Good, just draw your arms around your legs and give them a nice squeeze. Your feet might wanna cross, that's fine. Good, let's help out our immune system now that we gave our intestines a nice squeeze. Let's shake out any edema and help out our circulation in our legs and our hands. We want everything always to go toward the digestion, toward the heart. These are our filtering areas that filter out our toxins. So help your lymph out by shaking it out. Let's roll ankles and hands both directions. And squeeze, make fists, feet and hands. Good, shake it out again. Coming into our happy baby, we're going to take our knees as wide as they'll go as we open them up. We're going to draw our hands. If we're super tight, we're going to draw our hands around the backs of our thighs and just open as much as you can here. Otherwise, we're going to take our hands to the calves or arches of the feet. Press knees down to each side of your mat and breathe. We want a long neck here. People don't crunch up top of your body. <clears throat> Shoulders are even to the mat. If it feels good to roll on the low back here, go ahead and keep pressing your knees down and roll the hips side to side. 
little back massage here. Mindfully coming back to the breath throughout our practice. Good. Let's bring our feet down to our mat. We have to do a little more core work. Our twist is definitely cleansing poses, um, detoxing poses. So those all work to cleanse um, the gut and the belly, which is our ultimate goal. Um, keeping the belly healthy boosts our immune system ultimately. But we want to keep it nice and strong. Um, I've had four kids. Lots of us have had surgeries and kids. So just go at your own pace. We're not going to do anything too crazy today. So hands behind the head. Lower so that your neck is nice and long. Relax your belly here and just feel what's going on before we begin our core work. Relax the shoulders. Take a breather. Maybe give thanks to your beautiful day. We're gonna lift up our ankles even with our knees as we begin our inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna lift up our chin, chest to touch our tailbone. Inhale down, relax, exhale up. And we're gonna maybe do 20, whatever feels good to you. Maybe you do five. Ready, we're going to extend that left leg away from the hip, left arm overhead, and draw that right knee into chest bilateral flexion. Straighten everything neutral out underneath you. Final twist, left hand comes to right knee, right arm diagonally reaches overhead to the right, and then we send that right knee across the body, hip comes up into your twist. Use a block or just roll that hand under that right knee for support if your hip is super tight. Always just go at your own pace with where that foot lies. It may want to go down or up the leg or off. Find a deep relaxing breath. Stay there. And roll back to neutral spine. Walking that left foot up, extending the right, right arm overhead, left knee into your chest. Bilateral flexion, reach away. Right side's long, left side is crunching into the belly. Good. Final twist, right hand to left knee, roll over across the body and extend that left arm diagonally overhead to the left. back to neutral spine for your final relaxation or shavasana. Once you come to the breath, nice and slow. Thank you for joining us today.
and draw your knees into your chest. Roll over to one side, a breath into fetal pose. Palms roll to the side of your mat. Let's press ourselves up into easy seated position. Reach your arms overhead. Give thanks for this place and practice. The spirit within me humbly bows and respects the spirit within you. Think of your intention you started your practice with today and bring your prayer hands to heart center. Namaste.